Hey guys, the air conditioner here, because why not? Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. It's been quite some time, but you know what? Now's as good as time as any to come back because they had an update. I think like, what, like 10 minutes ago from the time I'm actually, you know, here in the now doing this. Basically, they added a whole bunch of really cool stuff. The long-awaited uh, Gallimimus, which is apparently, it's pretty big. It's like, I think it's like up to that guy's like shoulder or something. It's actually pretty big. Hence the ability for it to be the very first three-man mount, which is pretty cool. You can have a guy riding in the middle, I think he's the driver. A guy in the front with a sword, which is pretty cool. And a guy in the back with like a bow or something. Pretty crazy. That's a one heck of a battle mount. And it's pretty fast, so, you know, that's something definitely to be reckoned with. And we're definitely going to go and get ourselves one of those. But first, what we're going to need for that is we're going to need to actually make the saddle. Which is in here, and Gallimima saddle. That'll run you about 240 hide. 160 fiber, 120 wood, and 25 metal ingots. Alright, now we're gonna craft that, and while that's crafting, we can go check out some of the other really cool stuff that they added in this update. <laughs> basically, it wasn't just, oh yeah, Gallimimus, no, they added riot armor. And, basically, the upgraded ver version of the uh, obedience stick, and electrified obedience stick, which is pretty cool. We'll check that out right here. Alright, so we go in here, our nice little fabricator, and we go into weapons, because let's make this thing first, melee, and... The Electric Prod, or known as the Beating Stick. Alright, so it'll run you about 120 polymer, 130 metal ingots, 120 electronics, 70 cement and paste, 120 crystal, and surprisingly, angler gel. 15 of that. Never really seen that used in a recipe or anything before, which is pretty cool, and I should probably turn this thing on first. There we go, now we can craft it. Alright, so that'll be crafting, and now, while that's going, we can... Actually, go back into the thing. I'm stupid. All right, there we go. All right, so we go in here, and now we have armor instead of just, oh, yeah, we only have shields. Now we have riot, where we have all this, and am I seriously out of crystal? I think I have some crystal in the other things. So we can check that out. All right, so we got riot boots. Let's just craft that. Riot gauntlets. Craft that. Chest plate. And leggings. And let me actually check this thing. Do we have enough crystal? Because I might need to go quickly grab some. Oh, yeah, we should be fine, I think. Here's hoping that this is enough. Alright, dump that in there, and... Oh, Aw, right, so, we need a little bit more. Alright, I think we have enough. Somewhere. Come on. Really? We don't have enough. Alright, so I'm gonna quickly go and grab the remaining crystal from, like, a nearby source of some kind, and then we can continue. Ah, oh, God. Okay, so, there we go. I got the crystal. I got a total of, uh, 24 of it. So, we should have enough now. And turn that thing on, and... Let's see. All right, there we go. Craft that bad boy. All right, so the rest of it should be done. We got the beating stick, riot boots, gauntlets, chest plate, leggings, and the helmet. All right, cool. Turn that loud thing off. All right, so apparently the cool thing about the riot armor is I think it actually provides heavy physical protection, but no protection for the elements. So basically, it's like going around wearing newspapers. Not going to do much, but, uh, you know, keep you informed on how to be stronger or something. I don't know. But basically... It gives us a total of, let's put all this stuff on. Alright, it gives us a total of 575 armor. Which, we can actually do a comparison of the other armor. Alright, 575, gotta remember that number. Alright, let's go in here. Because I have the actual, like, metal armor, flak. And we'll see if the this is actually the upgraded armor. Because that'd be really cool. Alright, let's go in here. Oh, didn't mean to put the right helmet on. Ooh, it's up by just one. Hmm, I mean, yeah, you could be a little bit stronger with, uh, the flak armor by just one little thing and then .666666 whatever it is. Or, you could have riot armor and have 575 and look badass beyond measure. I mean, this guy looks like, just look at that, has like a little mini riot face thing. It's crazy looking. Alright, let's just dump these back in here. There we go. And also, now the riot shield has its own little armor set, and we're over-encumbered. Great, alright, what can we get rid of? Uh, okay, let's get rid of the rifle, we don't need that right now, and that, and that should be good. Okay, so let's get the electric prod out, and the riot shield. Ooh, alright, look at that. Alright, let's get this thing out. Wait, oh, it's a- I thought this is a one-handed weapon. No, this is like a- a laser beam. Jeez, look at this, it's crazy. Oh, wow. All right, but let's see what the uh, guy looks like without it. Oh, he looks cool. And that riot shield really is like, yeah, look at this. Gonna break in your door. 
Something like that. Alright, let's get rid of the riot shield and see what it looks like. Oh, cool. Oh, look at this. Alright, I'm, I'm loving how now we have, like, different varieties of armor and all that fun stuff that we can fiddle around with. Alright, so I'm thinking the riot shield, we can go and, uh, you know, keep that along with us just for aesthetically pleasing reasons. But the main thing is, what is this? Alright, we gotta see. Alright. Ooh, I like that. Alright, let's go find something that we can, uh, you know, practice some police brutality on. Alright. Who's gonna be my victim? Because this thing inflicts heavy, heavy torpor, apparently. And for how expensive it is, yeah, this thing better knock something flat in two seconds. Alright. Um, not the Quetzal, that's mine, actually. Uh, maybe the Parasaur. Or that Dillo. You know what? No, let's go do it to the Dillo. The amount of, uh, <laughs> amount of tames I've lost to these dang guys. Uh, that guy's flying over the- okay. Uh, it's craziness going on all over the place. Yeah. Oh, he's down. Wait a second. It completely broke. Powerful stunning, but can only be used for a single strike before recharge is needed. Oh. Oh, that's cool. And so when you have to recharge it, you recharge it with angler gel. All right, now I'm kind of wishing I had a little bit more. Because then I, we could recharge it. We can actually see, uh... Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to go quickly grab some and recharge this thing. And then we can go see if this is a one-shot on anything. I'm talking like, we'll go try this thing on a Bronto. And worst comes to worst, we just, uh, you know, run or some, something like that. Because I want to see, does this one-shot anything? Because, ooh, that could be a little overpowered, I think. Okay, so I got the whole thing charged, but I completely forgot that there's another pretty awesome thing in the update that I almost completely forgot. Basically, as you can see by this little platform, it has to do with uh, building. So, have you ever wanted, you know, your crops to be nice and safe and no random guys just coming in and just stealing all your crops? Well, this update has just the thing for you. Conveniently located inside this uh, giga, giga, whatever it is, we got this stuff here. Greenhouse, which is pretty cool. A metal framed glass ceiling providing insulation, doubles as a floor for higher levels, excellent for growing crops indoors. So basically, it's just like see-through glass window things, which is just completely awesome. I don't know why I didn't grab the things I actually needed. Alright, let's just grab that. And can I move? I cannot move. Okay, so we're going to need to take only a few of them. And hopefully that's enough so that I can walk. No, I can't walk. Jeez, I need to, need to lift some weights or something. Alright, there we go. As I struggle to slowly get my way over there, we can go here and... Eh. There we go. Oh, look how cool that looks already. All right, place that. Oh, it looks like a weird, like, underwater kind of thingamajiggy. Oh, I can't wait till they add that. They announced that a while back, like, underwater, like, domes or something, where, like, you can actually siphon the water out from an underwater thing and have your own submarine base thing or something. Waiting on that, but whatever. All right, let's grab these in here, and I believe that is way too heavy for me. Ugh! Jeez, I should really, like, put some points or something into a weight or something. I don't know. Alright, and place, and place, and I actually don't think I got enough, to be completely honest. Wait, maybe I did. Alright, let's just run back here. Alright, so basically, these things, like the greenhouse pieces, all of them can be conveniently crafted in your smithy for the low, low price of a whole bunch of crystal, and some, like, I think it's like, 10 metal ingots, so not that expensive there, and then some cementing paste, but, you know, Crystal actually has quite a bit of uh, a use in this update, with the uh, face mask and other stuff, and a whole bunch of really cool stuff. Alright, so let's place the ceiling, there we go, and one, two, three, and done. Alright, cool, this looks really nice. Now, I probably should have made it a little bit taller, so you can actually, you know, get the nice farm and feel. And let's place this to destroy that evil sunlight. And basically, look at that greenhouse effect. I'm guessing that, uh, you know, doubles the amount of crop rate. I mean, you get the picture. I'm not gonna, you know, set up a whole farm or something because nobody wants to sit there and watch a, you know, grass grow. That's not, that's not fun. Let's go, like, shock things to death or something. All right, so what we're gonna go do is we're gonna actually use this shocking thing on the Gallimimus instead of, uh, that gun that I got all ready to go, which is, come to think of it, a waste now. All right. And this guy is too heavy. All right, what do we have on us? We have, you know what? I don't think we need the gun. Because I'm guessing that's another reason they added this gun besides, uh, you know, you know, keeping guys uh, in line and, you know, not going crazy with uh, doing their thing or something. All 
All right, so there we go. We can fly nice and fast on this really fast pterodactyl I got here. And basically, the Gallimimus, I'm guessing, is going to be really hard to take down if you're only using shooting things, because I'm guessing they're really fast. So, my logic is they're in nice open planes. So, what better open planes than, like, the middle of the entire map? So, let's just zoom all over there, and we should hopefully find one right off the bat. Hopefully, I mean, I know the spawn rate's always kind of low when they add a new dino, but I have high hopes for the Gallimimus. And they're pretty big, so should be able to hopefully find one pretty soon. If I can't find one, like, right off the bat, I'll just go take my own time and try and find one. Alright, let's see. And there we go. There she is. And, no, there they are. There's two of them. Alright, cool. Alright, we have our own selection of... Alright, hopefully Speedster can take that guy out. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, wow. Level 2 Gallimimus. Yeah, alright. Perfect. Alright. Oh, God. It didn't... Oh, it didn't go down. Okay, so it's not a one-shot, and that thing's gonna keep running. Okay, probably not my smartest move. Ugh. Get out of here, you bees. I should get out of here. Ugh. Okay, so I gotta quickly run back to base and actually get the gun, and hopefully they didn't get too far away, and hopefully they don't get killed by... Oh, God, I don't even know what's going on over there, but... All right, I'll get the stuff we need, and we can hopefully take one down one of these buttes. Okay, so, got everything we need, and we should now be able to get this guy down. They're just kind of, you know, sitting here right near this rock, unsuspecting. Level 13. Oh, that's a really creepy looking head. Well, better shoot it right in the eye. Oh, and there they go, running off and lagging. Oh, God. Jeez, he ran so fast, he lagged. Oh, my. Oh, he is out of there. Okay. Huh. Okay, take two. Okay, so we got everything ready to go, and I basically went back and, you know, got this thing all nice and charged up. Maybe we can uh, use this to our advantage. We got the copy army there on backup, but I don't think they're gonna be of much help chasing one of these fast things. Alright, so what we gotta do is we gotta see which one is a low level. I mean, I'm surprised beyond measure how frequent they spawn. It's crazy. Alright, there's a level 2. I'm thinking we're gonna do this. Alright, and then we're gonna quickly aim and... Eh. Okay, it completely dodged that because of breaking the sound barrier with how fast that thing runs. Jeez. That is insane. And then we got this annoying raptor who's just gonna run in and make it dart off again. Alright, hopefully we can get it this time. Wait, it's stuck against the rock. Oh, no, it's not. It's gone. Alright. It's really hard to run with a SWAT armor. But I, at least I look cool running. Alright, where'd it go? Jeez, that thing can just... That thing just hightailed it out of here. Okay, you know what? Take three. Okay, so, well, you know what they always say. If it doesn't work at the first two or three times, you know, bring in the big guns. I'm deciding... You know what? Time to, uh, you know, forcibly make this, uh, galley mine. Alright, so there's the galley. Alright, there we go. We got him. Alright, he doesn't look too happy. He's like, oh, no, my speed has failed me. So, yeah, time to bring him over to this little, uh, nifty little taming pen I got here. Alright, there we go. Let's see if we can get him in there in one shot. Steady. Alright, forward. Ugh. Drop him. No. Ah, we missed. Take two. Ugh. Did we get him? All right, there we go. We got him. All right, good. All right. Jeez, these galleys do not want to be tamed. They want to run free. They're like, I don't want to do your bidding. Oh, God, I think we're stuck. You know what? This could be good. Oh, wait, no. Ah, okay. Come on. Hit. Yeah. Okay. If he doesn't go in this time, I'm gonna keep trying until, until I get him in. Right, yeah. <gasps> yes. All right. Perfect. Okay. Now let's set everyone to passive. I don't want this guy attacking them or something. All right. We got this nifty little ramp here. Now we shoot the fish in the barrel. All right. Perfect. Okay. Oh, how did I miss that? Okay. 
Eh. Okay. And. Eh. Alright, that's like three shots, I think. And one more. Four. And down. Down he goes. Okay. Eh. Oh god, why'd I jump in here? Alright, so I'm gonna assume we need berries of some kind to uh, tame him. Alright, yeah, so you need berries and all that, and I have some in uh, the other bird somewhere, which I'll go and uh, figure that whole thing out and get this guy nice and uh, good and tamed and all that stuff. Okay, and we got this guy nice and tamed, and what? Look, look at this dose here. We got a, like a T Rex, I think that is. He's like trying to bite him, but he gets a nice, uh, helpful, you know, delicious, tasteful of. Uh, you know, dirt, or whatever that is. Alright, and this guy's going up a storm, and there he is, a nice little picture of him. And what should we name this guy? You know what, let's name him Runner, because I'm so original. Alright, level 27. Alright, cool. Alright, well, oh, thanks for just, you know, taking a poo on me. Alright, so, we got the saddle here. Drop that on him. Alright, now, we get on this bad boy, and let's back up. Let's get out this nifty little hole thing here. Oh, Okay, he's not very fast when it comes to turning or- oh, because he has so much weight on him. Uh, what can we get rid of? You know what, we can get rid of the wood, we don't need it, that. Narcotics, to be completely honest, I could- I have more of those. Let's get rid of that. Trank darts, same thing, I have more. And Mejos, I think he has enough. Alright, there we go. Oh god, he is a fast one, look at this. Oh, that is crazy. Alright, so basically we got awesome galley thing. And we see those uh, little other saddle spots. Those, let me just see if we can actually access those. Alright, we have front seat and back seat. We have like the front seat. Looks like this. Pretty cool. You can't zoom out into third person, but pretty cool. Alright, get off there and let's go and check out the back seat. Oh, so you're like facing back with this so you can like shoot behind you. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> And then obviously you got the rider. His jumping, he's more of like a little, he's like hopping. Look at this. He's hoppy, hoppy, joy, joy. Alright. See that little dillo? He can't do nothing to us. Alright. Yeah. Oh, he's actually pretty good when it comes to jumping, like, when, like, in combination with the sprinting. Alright, wow. Alright, let's see what his damage is like. Eh. Yeah. Alright, what do you got, Raptor? I'm a galley probably one of the most hunted after creatures now because of all my meat oh actually he does not do very good in the damage department oh god oh geez that raptor's angry get out of here that's right all right so fighting yeah leave it to the guys riding this thing e yeah that would have been real bad okay so yeah definitely use the uh three seating thing and as you can see there's so many galleys all over the place and a t-rex favorite as i can see but they like to hop all over the place, and off they go. Alright, good luck, my galley friends. Alright, so yeah. Basically utilize the whole, uh, what's it called? Jumping and sprinting thing to be, you know, alive as a galley. Unless you have a, you know, a very, very high tier galley, and then you're, you're pretty much set for life. And that thing right there, that was just so I can recharge my, uh, my, what's it called? Oh, what's going on over there? I don't even want to. I don't even want to know what's going on over there now. I think a parasur just got involved and oh, a whole bunch of crazy stuff. That's ah oh, god. What am I gonna do with them? All right. So let's see uh, how this guy actually looks like swimming because I want to check that out too. All right. So fall damage. He's not like a frog where he negates it. He's just like any other dino. So there's that. Let's see. Like, is he a fast swimmer? Because I know like the scorpion, for example, is pretty fast. And okay, this guy. Do not go in the water with this guy. He's like land-based only. He is slow. But his stamina. His stamina. Look at that. Alright, watch this. Let's sprint for a minute. Jump. Do some more sprinting. Jump again. Keep jumping. Let's just spam jump this. Look at this. Just going crazy. Slamming that space bar. Alright, now we check this. And look at that stamina. Boom. Alright, this guy is a semi-battle mount. But like... He's like a scout. If you can catch one, then you can, like, transport stuff from, like, one side of the map to the other. Hopefully, uh, you know, if your stamina doesn't, you know, get hit by, like, a scorpion or something like that and you're hindered, then you could be, uh, pretty good. So, 
Alright, health could definitely be, you know, improved, because, you know, only 180. He can, he can get one shot by quite a bit of stuff. I thought that something was going to swoop down on us. Alright, but, yeah, pretty cool. We got a nice little galley. Alright, I've been actually waiting for this guy, because this guy is awesome. Now, let's get an awesome, majestic pose with this guy. Oh, look at that. If, I, if you can look at the... Look at me. Look at me when I'm talking to you. All right. He doesn't want to listen, apparently. All right. Well, not the end of the world. Okay. So, he's just doing his thing, being a galley. And there's a massacre going on down there. But anyhow, I think right here is a pretty good spot to end it for now. This has been an awesome little update. And I can't wait to see when they add more really cool stuff. Just like I, uh, I heard they announced that, like, Titanosaur, which is supposedly the size of a mountain. I definitely got to look into that. That's going to be, uh, something else. But, yeah, so, anywho, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I will see you next time.